Hey everybody, it's Greg and it's Bella. This is our Unbreakable the Podcast. And it's Saturday, March the 2nd. Oh, this is rain, 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 rain. That's what I was doing you on the show. Um started raining the rest of the night and then you like, which is good. I like to sleep at the Do I hear the rain on the roof? So um, it's very soothing. It's very nice. But I, that's all it's been doing all day, raining. And the, the forecast is rain for the next week or so. But, you know, I guess it's good for a few hours. Hey, what the hell? Um, today, we have a special, a couple special days. Uh, very important issue, World Team Mental Awareness Day. And we also have Banana Cream Pie Day. Oh, I love banana cream pie. You know what? Um, do you guys remember a place called Max and Irma's? We had a Max and Irma's pretty close to where I met. And uh, they had, you know, it's sort of like, you remember back to the office. You can get a burger there. You can get just about anyone. But the uh, best thing they had was the banana cream pie. They would have these big chunks of Bananas, real bananas in there. Big hunk of pie, a lot of whipped cream, a lot of banana filling inside. Not much crust, but you don't need much crust. You need, you want more bananas. They had oh, all this whipped cream, just, but the best part were these chunks of banana, real little slices of banana. The best banana cream pie I have ever had in my life. Even to now, uh, facts and numbers. I know that. And today is also, isn't it? It sucks when you put the glasses on and stuff together. Oh, speaking of old, <laughs> old stuff that, yeah, you could know, say, uh, I'm old stuff. And Bud, who's not with us today, he's out and about. Uh, he's old stuff too. So, uh, you know, I just noticed something. When you get older, you start to make noises. Did you ever hear that? Like, uh, uh, like when you're moving, uh, 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 and you sit back down. Uh, 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 you know, all of a sudden, like, these kind of noises come out. Of you. Like, really, God's been doing that too. Well, guy. He sits down, he's like, uh, like creaky. Well, I'm scared. Tomorrow is Sunday, and we're not on with Sunday because even God rested on Sundays. And uh, they have a few days, nothing really, really major that we should know about. Probably the best day out of it, which is Cold Cuts Day. Yeah. Give me a good pound of bologna in my habit. I know it's not healthy for you. Bologna, you put a little mustard in there, you know, maybe a pickle, go with it. But tell you what, a lot of my happiest moments in life were having a bologna sandwich. You can cut it in diagonal, but it's better when you cut it in diagonal. I think it tastes better. I don't know why, but you cut the bologna sandwich, you put a little mustard, shot of mustard on the sandwich. You have a pickle on the side. I mean, you can have some chips too. You can have some ruffles or lays or hers or whatever on the side. And that's that's like the best lunch. It's not the most healthy lunch, but it's the best lunch. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'll tell you what. When I used to brown bag it, brown bag it to school when I was a kid, brown bag it to work. You know. Actually, no, I take that down. When I was a kid, I didn't well I had lunch boxes. You remember the old lunch boxes? And they would have like the cartoon character in all of them. And did you have did you have a lunch box? My lunch box, my favorite lunch box when I was a kid was the Flintstones. I had this Flintstone lunch box. And it was great. It was back 
in the day, you know, the Flintstones were more like in the early 60s. And back in the day, you had uh, your lunchbox and you also had a thermos that kept stuff cold. I'd put milk in there, this tea or something. And uh, it was great. You open up the lunchbox and there you have your sandwich wrapped in wax paper, none of that, and uh, your bloody sandwich. And then you had your pickle, which was wrapped up too, so it was a good sign. And you put the pickle one there. And then you had uh, your dessert in there too, like a tasty cake pie, lemon pie. That's the best lunch ever. I love that stuff. And it, maybe in the thermos, you had some chocolate milk too. That's see, I was never a big old to do that. I remember old to me. Now I'm bringing that a lot of memories, especially for all the old geezers out there who watch me. It oval tea. Remember? But I was never a big old tea guy. It just tastes kind of funny to me. You know what I used to like? The Nestle Quick. Remember Nestle Quick? It would come in a, like a box, a little like box container, and you would flip the lid off with the end of the spoon, the top, and you would open it up. And there, all inside was all this chocolate powder, powder, like cocoa. You take a deep breath, you lift it all in, the chocolate was, oh, it was great. So you would get a spoon and you would put a few scoops in your milk, stir it up. It was great, cold milk like that. So you put it in your thermos, in the full stone stones. And you would seal it up and you'd take that to the school in there. It was a hell of a good lunch. That Flintstone thermos, even as a present to a friend of mine, I don't know how many people you still listen to WIP, Sports Radio in the Morning, with Angelo Cattoli. Angelo was the man for many, many years. One of his best callers on there was Butch for Man. And Butch would always go on and sing the Flintstones. Oh, he would do just the Flintstones real good with the Flintstones. He would he would make it into a parody of uh, sports guys like or whatever was uh, popular at the time, like Joe Owen Beat or the Phillies. Da 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 da. And had to know. Anyway, I can't, he did one for me when I met him at the ballpark one time. He was having his, he did a talk show at a table down at this kind of strange, down the right field line, a table there. He had his own talk show. Now, it wasn't a talk show and it wasn't on the radio. He was just sitting there beside the book, the guest book. And you get to sit there and talk. And uh, anyway, I met him down there. He was a hell of a nice guy. And uh, I knew he loved the food stuff, so I gave him the thermos. He couldn't get it. He said, you're giving me this thermos? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's for you. What the hell? That must be worth $300. I said, yes, it's probably worth $300. But I'm giving it to you as a uh, gesture of kindness. Kindness matters, and you'll never forget. He never has forgotten this that day. And he did a song about me. In the Flintstones, you do want to hear it? I remember a little bit about it, but not the whole lyrics. But it was uh, something, the little guy in the wheelchair. da 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 he gave me a Flintstone thermos. Da 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 It was all about yours truly. And he sang it on the radio. All these millions of people going to work during their drive time in the morning heard the song. It was just, it was a great honor. It was a great honor. Something that I wasn't willing to know. But, you know, I accepted it with hunger, with hope. Um, anyway, so 
Yeah, I thought I would, uh, since Bud's not here to talk to, I thought, well, you know, it might be a good day to continue my, uh, my baseball. You know, the other day, I gave you a, a we did the National League Central, mm-hmm. and I told you I did the Cincinnati Reds of the Mini Division Machine. I think they did the young team of the Mini League. Um, of course, the National League West, well, you know, it's, it's easy to pick the Dodgers, the Dodgers, the Rodeo. And I did. I picked the Dodgers. Because I thought Arizona, of course, we saw what Arizona did last year to our villains. I don't think they're going to win the division. San Diego's not good enough. San Francisco, they, they may be a dark horse. Look, they said, they, San Francisco signed Matt Chapman last night, the third baseman. I think he's going to do well with the Giants. But anyway, but I, the Dodgers are going to win that division. So I thought, let's do American League East to that. Huh? And um, everybody in their boat are picking the Yankees. And, uh, you know, it's the New York type, but okay, okay. The Yankees do have a good lineup. Aaron Judge, Jim Carter Stanton, uh, Juan Soto, uh, Rizzo. They have, they have, like, the Bronx Bombers are back. Like, the, the main birthdays, right? And, of course, they have Garrett Cole, who, like, won the side on the Award last year from the Yankees, but I don't know. I don't know if I can say the Yankees are going to go from this team that almost finished last last season all the way to first again. And, and I don't know. Color me skeptical, but I don't think the Yankees. I still think it's the Baltimore Orioles division to win or lose. Oriole, yes, they've been hit with a lot of injuries already in the spring. But they have a good young team. They they got the uh, the ace of the Milwaukee Brewers, Corbin Burns, is going to be pitching for Baltimore this year. Uh, one of their top prospects, Jackson Holiday, I know that he is uh, coming up. They have all these other young players. Look at it this way: Baltimore won over a hundred games last year, and I think they improved their lineup. So how can you not pick? The Orioles, the repeat. Tell you the sleeper team to watch in that division though is Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa always has a way of being in it. You know? I mean, you say Tampa. I don't know. It's just, they're just, I mean, it's pain in the ass teams that are there. They are there. And they play good fundamental baseball. And uh, they always have a great bullpen. And they have one of my favorite players of all time, Zach Effin, pitching for him. The Phillies were really stupid without keeping Zach Effin. He's, he's, he's really come through for the Rays. So I think the Rays are going to be a surprise team this year. The Red Sox, eh, who cares? They're not good. And the Toronto Blue Jays, they have all this talent for the world. Uh, but uh, they never seem to put it together, you know? Like, they never seem, I don't know about those Jays. Eh? They have a lot of young talent. I think it's going to come to the fact that the Blue Jays either are going to have to do it or they're not going to do it, right? You know the old saying, Hooper, get off the pot. And my mom used to always say that. Hooper, get off the pot. Either you do it or you don't do it. That's it. That's the Toronto Blue Jays this year. So again, my pick to win the AL East is the Baltimore Orioles. The hell with the Yankees. And I think Tampa Bay is actually going to be a, a, a wild card. I, I, I can't ever count out those rays. All right. Well, you know, next week we'll talk more baseball. We're getting closer and closer to the season story. We still have to review the American League Central, the Midwest, West, and I'm saving the last for the best, the best for the last, the National League East, the Phillies division. Oh, am I going to pick the Phillies to win the division for a change? Or is it going to be a winner? Or is somebody else going to come and surprise? 
Not certainly not the Mets. Come on. Don't make me laugh. The Mets. <laughs> oh, stop with the Mets already. I can't stand those Mets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get around to the National League East next, next week. And we'll see if those Phillies are going to win the division finally this year. And uh, maybe make it to the World Series again. Huh? Huh? Wouldn't that be great? You know, I claim the better than the little dirty meters, do you? Well, give or take. But the uh, Phillies have to win one more World Series for me before I cash my chips in. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, in, in the great golf course of life, I, I'm definitely on the back of the line. <laughs> Let's just get it that way. Uh, in the great baseball game of life, I'm probably in the seventh inning stretch right now. But, does the, you know, there's still two innings to go, and there could be extra innings too. So, you know, you're not ready to check out. So, uh, you know, I just want, I want the Philly, I love the Eagles. Look at the, look a little nearer to it. Yeah. Love the Eagles. Love the Sixers. Eh. The Flyers. Eh. They're okay. But I love the Phillies. I didn't go up on the Phillies. I love the Phillies. Been there when they collapsed. Been there when they won. Or collapsed and win. But eh. I love to see the Phillies win one more world championship before I go to that great baseball stadium in the sky. So anyway, so we'll see what happens, huh? All right, that's enough of this. So I'll see you all on Monday. We'll have more stuff to talk about. Hey, I'm working on next week's classic TV show already. It's going to be another good one. Thank you for watching all week long. Thanks for tuning in. If you get a chance to subscribe, that would be good. As I told you, I'm up to 35 now. Um, I told you about that Hollywood actress that I told you about. Remember I told you about? And, uh, you know, I contacted her. And uh, I said, how about being on the show? This is, a, this is a true story. I'm not going to say who it is yet. I said, how about being on the show? She said, ah, hey, hey. You don't have enough subscribers. Yeah, I, I don't do that until you have 1,000 subscribers. Then I'll do the show. So, oh, you know, we're getting there. I got 35. What the heck? They take another 20 years. But, you know, we're getting there. Once I hit the 1,000 subscribers, I will tell you who this, I don't want to say the word. Who this person is. But you'll know her, you'll know. Her. You'll know. Her. Very famous. But I don't want to waste my time and I don't want to waste yours too. So once you have a thousand subscribers, I'll do it in. Anyway, so you know, help me with that, huh? Huh? Then I can divulge the name to the whole world out there. Right. But okay, well, thanks for watching. And uh, tell your friends, huh? Because we have a lot of fun all week long. We have our classic TV show. We have Bud and Katie here sometimes during the week, and uh, we have a we have a good time. So peace and love, everybody. Have a great weekend there. Stay dry if you're in Pennsylvania, like I am. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. Eat some banana cream pie today. You do think of it. Talk to you all on Monday. Have a great Sunday. See you guys later. Bye-bye.